Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you just how easy it is to remove the Eufy indoor cam from HomeKit and basically how it reacts to that with regards to the video settings. So as you can see at the moment it's set to full HD 1080p and it gives you the little message about being in HomeKit um, and what we'll do is we'll come out of that and we'll go across to the HomeKit app. So as you can see the camera is just here, we'll click into it, click on the little cog come down to the bottom and hit remove from uh, remove camera from home and then remove camera with that it's now disappeared we'll come back across and if we come back into video quality as you can see straight away it's already gone back up to 2k okay so now I'll show you just how easy it is to actually add the camera to HomeKit so all you do is you click on the cog come back down to HomeKit portal hit add now hit got it choose whichever home for me I've deleted any extra one so it just shows up one and then you hit continue and then it'll bring up the home accessory hit add to home and it's as simple as that so this is the part that it doesn't show up on the iPad when you're adding it with the iPad I believe that's why it doesn't actually show up on any devices that are iOS 13 and above because this step doesn't come up it will then only work on iOS 12 devices so if you add it on an iOS 13 or higher because they all support HomeKit streaming it will then work on all of them subsequently as well um, possibly once I actually update this particular device to iOS 14 it may then work with every single iOS 14 device at the moment obviously you've seen that um, it does give you a few issues on, on some of them so I don't have uh, the plan uh, required in order to record so I'll just leave them both on stream hit next and then all you do is you rename them Eufy 2k and change that to Eufy 2k as well and change it to the room that they're located in keep it in favorites and done and it's as simple as that now if we go back over to the HomeKit app as you can see it pops up click on it and it's instant but obviously this is now gone back to 1080p if we come to the video quality as you can see it automatically sets it to 1080p so that's something that obviously it's not that hard to do it doesn't take very long but um, in terms of integration the actual flow of it is very similar to if you were adding an, an actual certified HomeKit product where you literally just scan the, the code and then you, you literally just choose which room and that's it so that's for anybody out there that wanted to know how to remove or how to add the, the Eufy Indoor 2K cam to HomeKit.